Winter came back today. I'm not about it. Ugh. So, I tend to get pretty bummed out and depressed when... <laughs> Are you... <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do this at the end, I So I tend to get pretty bummed out and depressed over winter. And I find it extra really difficult when it's acting like spring and then all of a sudden winter comes back for another round. It's literally a blizzard outside. So it is currently about four o'clock in the afternoon. I spent most of the day wallowing in my misery um, because of this weather. It was pretty... Yeah, let's move on. I was not happy about it. Um, but what I decided to do was at least make the most of my afternoon since I'm gonna spend the entire day cooped up in the house. Either way, there is no way, no chance in hell that I'm going to shovel the driveway and clean off my car right now. So it's gonna be a stay in the house kind of day. And so I decided what I'm gonna do is at least do something productive and I'm going to sort through all of the clothes that I currently own and I'm gonna make three piles. Pile one is things I can give away tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean whenever this weather stops. Two, things I can sell slash donate uh, as soon as it's spring. And I, and, and I mean actually spring, like spring that's gonna stay and not do this shit. Um, because I obviously currently still need at least one coat, like a couple of layers, just in case this weather sticks around for a few more weeks. Uh, yeah, so pile two is things that I can hopefully sell as soon as this weather clears up. And pile three is things that I am taking with me, which hopefully is only one suitcase worth of clothes. This is the real challenge. So, here we go. This will be me so soon. entire wardrobe a little over a year ago when I moved out of my last apartment. Uh, it was about twice the size of this one and so was my closet space and so I had a lot more stuff at the time. So I've already downsized a lot and now I'm basically just taking that to the extreme. So yeah, I've got a few summary things to take with me. I'm gonna decide what else I'm keeping, get rid of the rest. Here we go.
so here are my piles. Currently we have the keep pile, which is obviously too big. I still have my chest of drawers to go through, so we're going to have to reduce that again later. Uh, over there I have garbage. Over there I have uh, things that need to be sold and or donated at the end of winter. Over here I have things to be sold and or donated right now! Slash whenever I feel like going out in this weather and driving. Ugh. Um, yeah, so we've made a lot of progress, and now let us move on to the chest of drawers with the next set of uh, clothing in it. Here we go. Okay, so here's how we did. Uh, this I'm going to give to my sister because it's a little less relevant where I'm going. This is the keep pile. Once again, still too large. Going to have to downsize that a bit. This is the sell slash donate slash garbage pile. I'm going to have to sort through that one a little bit more carefully. Obviously things like bras you only want to sell if they're in like new condition. Um, so yeah, so that's going to require a little more attention to detail. I'm going to combine these piles with the ones in the other room just so you can get a full scope of what it looks like to purge a bunch of crap. Especially when you're someone who's been working in retail for over 10 years and was a shopaholic for a number of those years. So yeah, here we go. So here we are. This is the current keep pile. I definitely am going to try to whittle down the pile a little bit more. I feel like I'm still attached to a lot of things that I'm probably not going to wear more than like once a year. So it's time to do a round two, but not today. <laughs> and here is the current sell slash garbage slash donate pile. Yes, I'm standing on a chair. Deal with it. So again, I have to go through this in a little more detail as well, sort out what's in sellable condition what's in donatable, can donate, donate, whatever, what's in good enough condition to donate, <laughs> and what needs to 
go to the dump. This is crazy. This is exciting. Uh, it feels good to be getting rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't really want or need. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, please uh, share down below, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, fast forward to a couple of days later. It is still snowpocalypse outside, um, but I'm braving the weather to go out and sell all of the stuff that I've sorted. So I've got a whole bunch of bags in the trunk. I'm gonna see how much of the clothes and hopefully even some of the bags I can sell. And then the rest I'll take to charity on my way home so I don't have to bring anything back into the apartment that I'm trying to empty. Here we go. Okay, so I'm here at Plato's Closet. It is right there um, to sell my things. I just dropped them off. Usually they take about half an hour to ruffle through all of your many bags of clothes, decide what they want to buy from you, and then call you and you come back and pick it up, and they pay you, and you take the rest and take it to charity or whatever. Um, but I feel like it's a good time for me to use at the gym, so I'm gonna go on up to the gym. I told them, no rush, don't call me, you know, take your time, and I'll come back later. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, we are off to the gym. Hello fam, it's post-gym Jasmine. I'm a hot mess. Okay, I'm back at Plato's Closet. Deet -de -deet. I'm here to pick up my stuff. I got a text message saying that it's all ready to go, so let's see how much of it they bought and how much of it I still have to get rid of. Here we go. Okay. That was a successful mission. I got about 40 bucks for, I would say less than a third of the, the amount of crap that I dropped off. So that's pretty good. That's free $40 in my pocket for things that I had to get rid of either way. So I think what I was gonna do originally was take, sorry, my keys are falling out of my pocket. So my original plan was to take the remaining clothes straight to charity, however, I do have a lot of moving expenses to cover, so I think I'm going to hang on to them for another couple of weeks um, and put them outside in neat piles in my garage sale and hope that if I offer like $5 per bag and put out a bunch of reusable grocery shopping bags um, that people will just take the rest and I can make a little bit more free money off of them and then anything that's left over can go to charity. So. That's the new plan, here we go. So yeah, successful mission, thanks for coming with. This is the first like official thing that I've done to uh, actually start unloading things and preparing for the physical part of the move. I've done a lot of like administrative planning, like getting Benny's paperwork ready, but yeah, this is the first time I've like let something go for the sake of trying to let everything go and move. So it's an interesting feeling, it's a good feeling. And I'm excited to get rid of everything else. Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please support my journey. Um, all I'm asking of anybody to support my journey is just to watch, like, and subscribe. Yeah, and I'm excited to show you what the next step in this crazy process looks like. The key to getting from point A to point B, no matter what your goal is, is just doing one thing every day. So this is my one thing for today, and I nailed it. <laughs> now I can go home. like that.